Hello and welcome to the planning briefing for Sunday, September 15th from the National Weather Service in Missoula. We'll begin with the weather threat matrix. I want to draw your attention to the risk for thunderstorms on Monday as atmospheric moisture and instability moves northward from the Great Basin into the Northern Rockies. By Tuesday, a closed low will bring widespread precipitation throughout the region with a low risk for heavy rainfall mainly to burn scars and flood prone areas. And by Wednesday, the system is gonna be moving into north central Montana with a wraparound precipitation mainly focusing along, along the divide and the Glacier Park region. What about those thunderstorms on Monday? A lack of wind shear is going to limit thunderstorm strength. Therefore, we're not expecting any organized severe convection. However, we will see general thunderstorms. That will be capable of frequent lightning, brief heavy rain and small hail, and some gusty outflow winds to 40 miles per hour, especially for areas along and south of the I-90 corridor. Here's a look at the probability for thunder through the upcoming week. You'll notice that most areas see probabilities increasing by Monday afternoon and evening, also extending in through the overnight hours on Monday night to Tuesday morning as that closed low approaches the area. And then probabilities for thunder really start decreasing uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning as that low starts departing into north central Montana. And then throughout the remainder of the week, really the only area to watch out for is going to be southwest Montana on Thursday afternoon and evening for some low chances for thunder. Here's a look at the timing of rainfall as this thunderstorm and closed low moves through the area Monday through Wednesday. And you notice that the most the, the heaviest rain with the system is really going to focus during that Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning time frame for most locations. The earliest onset of precipitation is going to be occurring in southwest Montana. And then as we go through time, the rainfall focus is really going to be setting up in northwest Montana Tuesday night into Wednesday. What about the storm total precipitation amounts as this system moves through? On the left, there's a 75% chance of at least this much rain, so kind of the low end uh, rain amounts. And you'll notice, generally speaking, the precipitation is going to be focusing across eastern portions of Idaho and Clearwater counties, uh, north and east through western Montana, and then eventually into uh, north, central, north, north central Montana and along the divide. There is some uncertainty with the lows track as it moves across the area. And that's why you can see quite a bit of uncertainty with kind of the low end rain amounts to the high end rain, am rain amounts on the right. This graphic on the right is showing the 25% 25, 25 chance of a, at least this much rain, where we're seeing rainfall totals in excess of an inch, especially as you get along the divide. And then as we go into the, ne the next weekend, the global models and their ensembles are showing the potential for a a deeper trough of low pressure kind of diving south and east from Canada and a cold front associated with this trough is going to be moving south towards the continental divide and depending on what model solution you look at like cluster four there's potential for that cold air to be dragged across the divide into western Montana while if you look at some of these other clusters like cluster two there's some ridging showing up so Bottom line, there's quite a bit of uncertainty, but there is potential, depending on how this plays out, for some colder air uh, to work south from Canada. And that filters into this, this snowfall forecast that we're showing here in this graphic. Uh, the most likely snowfall forecast, kind of a, the middle road of all the solutions, is showing just some light dustings of snow, primarily above six, 7,000 feet across western Montana mountain ranges. But if we do get that colder trough, as we saw in cluster four on the previous slide, where that cold air is dragged south and west of the divide. We could be seeing upwards of six to 10 inches of snow, especially on the divide and Glacier National Park. And even in the mountain ranges, such as the Bitterroot and the Sapphires and Anaconda Pintlers, we're seeing you know, snow totals of, six to, six to, of two to six inches. So the bottom line is uh, next weekend, bears watching, especially if you're planning on heading into the backcountry or you have resources in the higher elevations. Accumulating snow is definitely something to be on the lookout for. What about the six to 10 day climate prediction center outlooks? 
uh, we're leaning towards above normal precipitation. And we're also seeing that potential for those cooler temperatures uh, showing up anywhere from about a 40 to 50 percent chance of those cooler temperatures through early next week. That's all we have for the recording briefing today. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you and have a great day.